This is part 28 of Link Tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss generation operators in Link. All of these standard query operators belong to generation operators category. Let's look at them one by one with examples. Range operator generates a sequence of integers within a specified range. Let's understand what we mean by this with an example. Let's say we want to print all the even numbers between 1 and 10 and we want to achieve this without using Link. If that's the case, we would use a for loop like this for int i is equal to 1, i less than or equal to 10, i plus plus, and then inside the for loop, we'll check when the number is divided by 2, and when the remainder is 0, then we know that number is even, in which case we want to print the value of i onto the console. So when we run this, we get all the numbers between 1 and 10. Now, let's see how to achieve the same thing using link range method. This range method is present in enumerable class. And notice this method has got two parameters. The first parameter is called the start parameter and this parameter specifies the first integer within the resultant sequence. So within the resultant sequence we want numbers from 1 till 10 and then from that numbers we want to retrieve only the even numbers. So first of all we want to generate numbers from 1 till 10. So the first parameter is going to specify the integer at which we want to start you know the numbers in the resultant sequence so in this case from 1 and the second parameter specifies the number of sequential integers starting from that number so we want 10 numbers starting from 1 in a sequential order so this call here is going to return us an i enumerable of int which is going to contain numbers 1 till 10 so let's create a variable of type i enumerable of int and let's call that result and now let's use a for each loop and then print each value that is present within the resultant sequence. So when we run this, as you might expect, it's going to print all the numbers from 1 till 10. But that's not what we want. We want only the even numbers. If that's the case, we are going to chain this where method here and then specify a lambda expression which is going to retrieve only even numbers. Alright, now let's look at repeat operator. This repeat operator is used to generate a sequence that contains one repeated value. Let's look at an example. So if you look at this example right here, so again this repeat method is present in the enumerable class and again notice this method has got two parameters as well. So the first parameter is the value that we want to be repeated within the resultant sequence. So we want this hello word to be repeated five times within the resultant sequence. So we are passing the first parameter as hello and since we want that to be repeated five times we are passing five as the second parameter. So what this is going to do is return an i enumerable of string and that resultant sequence is going to contain this word hello five times. When we use a for each loop, loop through each element within that resultant sequence and when we write the value of that element to console we are going to get this hello word printed five times. So that's repeat. Empty operator returns an empty sequence of the specified type. So what does this mean? Now look at this. Again this empty is present in the enumerable class. Now notice here the type is integer. Okay. So what is this line of code going to do? It's going to return an empty i enumerable of end and here the type is specified as string so this piece of code is going to return an empty i enumerable of string so the immediate next question that comes to our mind is where is this useful let's actually understand that with an example so let's say we've got a method and let's make it static and let's say this method returns i enumerable of int and let's call it get data so since it returns i enumerable of int, let's return a new list of integer. And let's say this method is going to return 1 till 3. And here we are going to call this getData method. Now, when we run this as it is, it's going to print those numbers from 1 till th uh, 3. Now let's say this method, we don't own this method. 
let's say you know this application makes a call to a method that is present in a third party application you know a third party api and we don't have any control on third party application all this application does is make a call to that method whatever that method returns you know it's storing that in this result variable and then using a for each loop to loop through each item and printing its value onto the console okay now let's say things have changed and then for some reason you know this method is actually returning null now what do you think is going to happen when we run this piece of code it's going to throw a null reference exception that's because you know this method returns null and then we are trying to loop through a null reference object so obviously it throws that null reference exception okay now there are several ways we can correct this problem one way is if result not equal to null if the result is not equal to null only then try to loop through each item in the result okay so it's not going to throw the exception okay so that's one way the other way is by using the empty method so we can use null coalescing operator here so this get data may return null okay if that is the case then what we want to do is use enumerable dot empty method so enumerable empty of end so what is this going to do look at the return type it returns an i enumerable of end so it's going to return an i enumerable of end empty sequence so now when we run this look at this we don't get the exception so this will be an empty sequence with no elements in it if we actually print the count of that console dot write line result dot count we get zero so that's one of the uses of this empty method and here is the same example that we just discussed that's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.